Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and on today's episode of Garage Noise, we're gonna dive into this C7 Corvette repair. It's got some damage on it. It got hit by a deer, ran into by a deer. We've got a broken headlight here, a fender that's gonna need to be replaced, some damage on this uh, parking light. We're gonna have to remove the front bumper cover and then also the deer bounced around hit this door and if you can see here it did some cracking and some damage on the outer skin of this door but also on the inside of this door you can see the crack right there this went through this is a composite door so we're going to repair this door and then it bounced around did some damage on this quarter panel we're going to replace this and in order to do that, we need to remove this rear bumper. Okay, so we got one down and if you can see here, there's little tabs that lock in around into this bumper cover and you just need to release those. You just gotta be gentle with it and careful and you won't break it. Okay, so while I'm waiting for some gloves to do that fiberglass repair, we're gonna go ahead and sand this and prep this out for primer. We're gonna sand it with 320 grit sandpaper on the orbital sander and get it ready for primer. Okay, so we've got this all sanded with 320. 
All these hard to reach areas, I went over with a sponge, a sponge pad and some 320, and then I used a Scotch-Brite, 1500 grit Scotch-Brite pad for all those tight to reach areas. So now what we need to do is we need to use some prep solvent, clean this, wipe it down, and then we're gonna spray it with some adhesion promoter and prime it. So let's do that now. Okay, so now we're gonna start doing some work on this fiberglass quarter panel that we're replacing. Now, I ordered this used from Texas. It was supposed to be in good shape. It had some cracks and a little bit of damage on it that I can easily repair. It's a little bit upsetting, but what can you do? So I'm gonna go ahead and repair it. Now, one thing to note, this is SMC sheet molded compound fiberglass. So you need to use the correct fiberglass when you're when you're repairing this um, sheet molded compound resin or SMC and the right matting which is a fine woven matting you know so the first step in uh, repairing a crack in fiberglass is you need to grind a V in the area that's damaged and then gradually uh, feather it out so you need to create a little canal for the resin and the matting to sit in so that's what I've done then you want to apply a thin coat of uh, resin before you apply the matting and then soak the matting thoroughly. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the adhesion promoter. I use Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. I will leave the links in the descriptions for everything I'm using today. And I'll apply this and what this is going to do is it's just going to be a little bit of extra security for adhesion so it doesn't we make sure it does not peel, doesn't we don't have any of those issues. Okay, so now we're going to spray the primer. We're going to use 2K urethane primer. I'm just putting a real thin coat on this. I really just want to get the black covered and get a good base for the paint. I did reduce this 10% uh, so it would flow out nice and even, nice and flat, and there would not be a lot of heavy sanding involved in blocking this out and prepping it out for paint. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm fitting up this new quarter panel. We're trying to get it all lined up. The gaps here were not correct after the accident. I think what had happened is it, in fact, I know it moved the striker when the deer hit this door. It did some cracking right here and it moved this striker right here just a tad. So I had to adjust the striker so this would shut and line up flush with this quarter panel. So now you can see the gaps are all good. They line up really well. The only, pro the only issue I'm having right now is right down here, if you can see this, this is a, a little farther out. There's some flexibility here. It does have a bolt that goes in right here to line it up, but it's still sticking out right there just a tad. So we need to figure out why that's happening, do some adjustment. It lines up with the door and this, but this needs some adjustment here or there might be something in the back. So I'm gonna take this quarter panel back off, look at that area and see what needs to be done there. And then we're gonna finish up the fiberglass repair on this quarter panel. And then we'll start doing the fiberglass repair on the door. But it's coming along nicely. We got the fender all primed. So this is ready to be sanded and cut in and painted. So let's get back at it.
Okay, so now I've got this looking much better. Um, what I did is I heated up, I didn't know if this was work, it would work and I've never done it before, but I heated up this fiberglass and I pushed it from the back side and let it cool. And that seems to have worked. This has a bolt that goes right here. It attaches on the inside. That's gonna line up that back. And then this is pretty much perfect. I have to sand this down a little bit anyway, so I should be able to shape that to where it lines up absolutely perfect. So it's looking good. There's the crack we have to fix if you see it in the light. Okay, so now that this is all lined up, we can go ahead, take the quarter panel back off, finish doing the repairs on the quarter panel, and then start repairing the door. Okay, so I'm working on this door jam, this inner door jam on this uh, quarter panel. Um, I've got this all sanded out. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of icing and just smooth in just a thin coat on the outside here and on the inside of this jam and then we'll sand it out smooth. And I'm just gonna lay a thin coat right in there. This is just a finished coat. I'm just gonna put a little on my finger and then lay it in this crease right here. And that should be sufficient to fill it. Okay, so this is what they call a spray out. I did a spray out with two different types of paint. One is a Valspar and one is a nascent paint. Uh, I had some nascent paint that was this color code and I just wanted to check the color on this to see if it was blendable. And if you look closely here, I think it's gonna show up on camera. One of them is too dark. And this one is very close, but it's just a little lighter. It's almost right on the money though. This one is definitely blendable. So you can blend into the adjacent panels in order to get a good color transition. And you're not gonna be able to tell if there's a, a shade difference in the color. This one, in my opinion, is not blendable. It's a little too dark. So we're gonna tint this one to be more, more like the original color. But I just wanted to get that done ahead of time and get it ready for when we go ahead and spray this. Okay, I went ahead and I pulled the vet outside. We're gonna go ahead and spray this fender. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I'm going to spray the color and I'm gonna clear it. So I'm gonna fully paint this fender and I'm gonna use the nascent. That's the red that was really close to being right on the money. It was just a little bit orange. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna paint this fender so I can tell how close it actually is. Put it on, I can pull it out in the sun and just take a look at it. I'm still gonna have to blend, but I wanna see what it looks like. Um, tinting the other color so it's closer, but I have went ahead and I've sanded this with 320, and then I went ahead and sprayed some of the areas that I had broken through. So it's pretty much one uniform color. There's a few little areas that have some black on them, but I'm gonna cover those with paint. So I'm gonna tack rag this off and then let's get to spraying. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this jam and then flip it over. I'll spray the jams, all the edges and flip it over and do the outside with color first. So let's get some color on this. I've already tacked it off.
next episode of Garage Noise, we're going to start repairing the door, the fiberglass repair on the door, and paint the rest of this vet. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you won't miss anything. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.